Well, you know, growing up, <laughs> oh man, uh, this one's a winner. This one, I, I'll tell you, this story is a winner. But I gotta say, growing up, I've heard many, many of tall tale of, and this, I, and I'm including both ends of this. This is male and female. That um, unfortunately, some things that end up on the other end. That uh, literally you have to you end up in an ER for, and it, it, it's just funny. And, and you see some of this stuff on TV too. You know some of these um, medical TV shows and stuff like that. And you saw, I, I saw one where what was it an episode? Was it Grey's Anatomy? I'm trying to remember the, the the episode on there. But the, the the whole premise was this woman. Ends up in the hospital. She ha- her stomach is like literally, she's in pain, and she's total pain. And they're trying to push in. And they tell us, "Says, do you have anything in there? Did you put something up in your your vagina? You know." And, <laughs> and when they push down on it, um, a gunshot goes off. Getting very, very sick. I didn't swallow it. And someone in the hospital gets hit by the gunshot. Everyone hits the deck and wondering who 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 pulled the who pulled the trigger? Who, where's the gun? Where's the gun? And it turns out to be the gun is inside the woman with the pains in the stomach. But you may ask yourself, well, you know, that's a little exaggerated. That wouldn't happen really. You know, you would have to be crazy to shove anything like that up in your vagina or in your butthole. Well, today, folks, uh, I got an article from you, article for you uh, from the New York Post that uh, um, stuff like this is on the rise again, and it, it is just literally just one in you know insane. And uh, folks, please do comment on this as we talk about this on this edition of Mad Men with the Show. Party pooper, party pooper. When everything breaks at the seams, and you feel like you're losing belief. Well, damn it, you just gotta stay strong. When it all falls apart and goes wrong. When you feel let down and so lost. And it feels like you can't hold on. Let's get right into this. Party pooper. Party pooper. Party pooper. Hospitalization for foreign objects in rectums are on the rise. Nearly 4,000 people are hospitalized with foreign objects in their rectum each year, according to a new study published last month in the American Journal of Emergency Medicine with many of the stuck items, sexual objects. Yes, folks. Yeah, yeah, there's some things that are up there that uh, are very questionable. What were they doing? Researchers at the University of Rochester in New York, stumped by little epidemiological information on this condition. So they decided to analyze emergency reports from 2012 to 2021. The study said to be the first nationally representative data on rectal foreign (laughs) bodies in the U.S. found 38,948 emergency department visits based on 885 cases in the time period among party poopers older than 15. God help us if they're doing it below. Researchers scoured the national electronic injury surveillance 
systems for injuries involving the pubic region or the lower trunk with the accompanying diagnostics of the foreign body puncture or laceration. The system keeps a record of injuries resulting to consumer products according to the United States the Department of Human and Health and Human Services. Of these reported cases, the average age of the patient visiting the emergency room was 43 years old. Nearly 78% of the patients were male and 40% of these patients required hospitalization. Over half of the foreign bodies were sexual objects, which could be items like vibrators, anal beads, or other such toys. Balls and marbles, as well as drugs, were associated with the low rate, with a lower rate of hospitalization. Researchers also found an increase in hospital visits for rectal foreign objects over the time span that they studied, rising from 1.2 per 100,000 persons in 2012 to 1 1.9 in 2021. These data quantities a frequent encounter clinical presentation that has received little research focus, the study authors wrote. Now, how do you do studies with this? I mean, really? <laughs> I mean, people don't admit to these things. These data suggest that there are distinct sex and age specific differences in outcomes that have uh, atomically or behavior uh, or behavioral basis. In April, the Visual Journal of America Surgery reported that a man had to be rushed into the emergency surgery after getting a can of deodorant stuck in his butt. Wow. <laughs> and last year, a French citizen left doctors shell-shocked when he arrived with a World War I artillery shell lodged in his rectum. Gee, I was standing around minding my own business and all of a sudden, poof, a star is born. Hate to see what the bet on that was. It caused the hospital to be partially evacuated over bomb scare concern, uh, concerns. Um, this is insane. I mean, you gotta agree with me on that. Please do comment below on this. Because, I mean, you hear, like I said, I've heard in my youth, I've heard stories like this. You know, that you hear the old hamster story, you know, which you've seen on South Park. A great adventure is waiting for you ahead. Hurry onward, let me winks, or you will soon be dead. But you gotta remember, stories like that comes from reality. Because out there, someone has done it. Someone's out there stuck something. I mean, this is, you know, when you were a kid, you know, you were stuck, stuck, you know, a penny up the nose or swallow a penny. Or you, or you shoved a crayon up the nose a la Simpsons. Um, I mean, you see this constantly on there. And, you know, on the other end, it's no different. You know, some people don't realize, you know, you do something like that, you might cause damage to yourself. I mean, it does. I mean, some do it for sexual gratification. I can understand that if that's your itch that you need to get scratch you know by all means you know if you, you're you know you're if your uh, inner inner hole has an itch in there and you just got to get in there and scratch it you know who do, who are me to challenge that but but you know a world war one artillery shell what were you thinking what would you think what was the bet was it was it there you know you got to think of it. it had to be hey 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 francois uh you know i bet you can't put this up your butt you know think about that for a minute or he sat down on it which why would he be sitting down on a artillery shell go figure but who am i to say but a madman with the shell Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe as it helps us increase the reach of our channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help fund this and many other channels. If you wish to help grow this channel by financial support, you have two ways. There are two links below. 
One link will send you to a direct pay site where you can make a donation. The second link will send you to our gear store where you can purchase t-shirts, mugs, and other specialty items. Any additional discounts will be listed on the main page. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.